Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today I have a really cool idea for a tank destroyer. So instead of being silly and adding a duck head to the top of this thing, we're going to design an entirely new tank that is, um, is hopefully really cool. Now, I don't know where I've seen it before, but I definitely have. Um, essentially it is like a tank destroyer, uh, with a very round turret on the front, uh, and I'm not entirely sure what it looks like on the back, but I thought it looked cool. So, we're gonna go ahead and try and build something similar, um, let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so I've gone ahead and actually turned the fenders off, I've gone ahead and changed the hull, and I've also gone ahead and removed a lot of the fuel, because we usually start with 600, we do not need 600, so there you go. Anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and bring this guy out sideways, a little bit more. We're then going to extend it and skinny this bit off a little bit and there we go. We're then going to grab the entire thing on the top uh, all the way across, drag it downwards and hopefully we can make this look pretty nice. I think we will be able to. Anyway, the first thing I want to do then is grab this piece and this piece and extend those guys forwards. Um, the reason I'm doing that is so we have an angle on the bottom and I think that's fine. Grab all of it, let's bring it all down uh, and bring it backwards slightly and leave it there like that. Nice. All right, the next thing we're going to do is actually work on the tracks. So, in order to actually work on the tracks, let's click on tracks. There we go. Uh, we're going to get rid of the return rollers, and we're going to try and do it without. Whether that's going to look good, bad, I don't know. Um, but there we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is make the road wheels a little bit bigger. In fact, quite a lot bigger, to be honest. So they're going to look like this. Um, and that's pretty sick. That does actually already work. Uh, quite nicely. We're now going to go ahead and try and make them look really pretty. Uh, I want them to look good. So let's go ahead and do these ones. There we go. That might be really cool. It might also not be cool, but yeah, we're going to go. Ooh, I don't know. Do we want to go with those or those? Probably these ones. Yeah, there we go. Uh, suspension is going to stay the same. Return rollers, we don't have any. And the tracks themselves are going to look like these ones. There we go. All right, that's really nice. So far, so good. Alright, so you might be wondering whether I'm going to make them wider or skinnier. I think I'm going to leave them just as is. Uh, the only thing that I am going to change, though, is actually the thickness of the belt. We're going to go all the way up to 150 millimeters, uh, and that is quite thick, but hopefully that is, um, that is going to work. Yeah, so far it actually looks really cool. Alright, so now I have to come up with a design for the front end. Now, I know I said it was going to be round, but that is only for the gun section. So we're going to go ahead and drop this guy down quite a bit. We're going to extend it upwards like so, just like that. We're going to go ahead and extend these guys backwards, just like so. Okay, kind of strange so far, but that's fine. We're then going to extend this guy, this guy, and this guy upwards, if we can. So extend it upwards like this, that's fine. That's where the driver's going to sit, and that will be A-OK. -okay. Alright, grab both of these, that one and that one, send it backwards like so, driver will go in one side, maybe have a little bit of a gunner on the other side, and that should be fun. Yes! Alright, bring all this up, a little bit more, and there we go. Okay, so the gun section is actually going to go on top of this, um, and that should be fine, I feel. That should be fine. Um, I would like for a lot of it to actually overlap the tracks, if I could. Um, but that seems like something that might be quite tricky to do. Uh, possibly. I don't know. So if I bring this guy backwards like this, we then go ahead and extend this guy over the sides like this. Is that strange or is that not strange? I don't know. Grab both of those, do this inwards just a little bit like so. Um, I think we could get away with that if we move the entire thing upwards. So let's go ahead and select all, bring it upwards to about there. Okay, the bottom section might have to go way further down. Um, but I'm okay with doing that, there we go. And then if we angle it a lot more, that'd be great. It would be great! Okay, so this goes backwards. This guy, and also the guy next to it, maybe can come down slightly. And maybe backwards slightly too? Yeah! Okay, it looks strange so far, but I think we're onto something. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually grab these two and move it backwards like so. I'm then going to move this guy backwards like this. And hopefully, if I delete this guy and delete this guy, we can make it somewhat look good. So that, uh, this one to this one to this one, fill. This one to this one to this one, fill. There we go. This one to this one to this one, fill. This one to this one to this one, fill. And there we go. They're the same. All right, very nice. So, um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with this so far. 
Right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually go to the sides, and we're going to go ahead and split it down the middle, just like this. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this section, actually, but we're going to have to split it again. Uh, so split this again here, and then actually uh, split it again uh, from there. Okay, split. Because I want it to go up here and here, and maybe there, there and there. Oh yeah, no, this is going to work. This is totally going to work. So, we just need this bit to be rounded, and that'll be perfect. Yeah, okay, right, extend this upwards, bring it upwards like so. We're gonna bring it backwards a little bit, and we're gonna try and round it off, and that'll look excellent. In fact, let's round it off first, and then we'll go from there. So extend this, squidge it, extend it a little bit more, squidge it a little bit more, and then extend it once more, squidge it all the way, and there we go. Yeah, okay, somewhat like that, that looks sick. Okay, alright, so I've gone ahead and uh, actually selected all of the top of this. What we're going to do is we're going to squidge it inward slightly like this. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and squidge it... Mm, I think I'm going to do this, actually. Slowly, yeah, roll it backwards like so. And then I'm going to extend it, and we're going to squidge this in. This is the bit that needs squidging. So, like this, yes. And like this, yes. Okay, this actually looks really cool. And then if we go to smooth angle... We can actually have all of that bit be smoothed. Uh, kind of like this. And that looks pretty much how I wanted it to be, actually. That's quite cool. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do is actually go to compartments, go to faces. We're going to grab all of these guys and actually maybe just this piece and this piece. We're going to try and stretch these guys backwards. Just like that. Um, and I think the back end at the top will actually look quite cool that way. I might have to do something with these. Um... Because at the minute they look a little bit strange. Or do they? I don't know. Yeah, delete that guy and delete that guy. We'll fix them so they look better. And, um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Okay, I decided not to actually uh, remove those because the points don't actually get any smaller the further you zoom in. I feel like they should get a little bit smaller so you can decide which bit's which because I can't actually tell there. Um, but it is fine leaving it as is. So, we are going to do that. Alright, so what else do we actually need to do? Engine is going to go mounted on the back. Um, that is something that makes some sense, yes. So let's go to trans... no, let's go to engine. Uh, we'll go to these guys, and we will actually use two of these on the rear, just like this. Yes, so whack those there. We're going to go ahead and make them a little bit squidgied. A little bit squidgied. So they're going to go down like this. I'm going to go ahead and extend it so it's a little bit longer. We're going to push this guy this way. Uh, so it's dangled just over the edge, actually, and we'll leave it like that. Okay, that's pretty nice. We're then going to go ahead and grab these guys, make them very skinny. Make a lot smaller, if we can, just until they fit. Go ahead and fit them in. Um, grab two more, spin them around, whack them in the same place, and that should be good. We might have to actually whack them in up here. Uh, but let's do that, there we go. Bring them this way, until they fit together. There we go. Bring them out until they actually fit in the right places. And leave those there. Pretty much just like that. That's fine. Good. I'm actually really happy with that. That is A-OK. -okay. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things that we haven't actually done anything with is this bit at the back. Uh, clearly this bit is um, has been a little bit neglected by us. Um, and it looks a little bit strange. So what we're going to do is actually push this guy back in there. Uh, and we're going to leave the back end just like this. I know it looks a little bit strange, but uh, I feel like it doesn't look too, too bad. So we'll leave it as is. We're then going to go to mobility, we're going to go to fenders, we're going to go ahead and attach them back on, and uh, hopefully put them in the nice, nice little spot. So bring them backwards to about there-ish, yep, yeah, there. Um, angle it so it's flat, essentially, and um, maybe raise it up a little touch. Yeah, just like that, okay. Yeah, I think that fits. I think it works. We'll leave it as is. Nice. Okay, so the next few things that I actually need adding then are um, our hatches so we can get in and out of the actual gun bit, the gun section. We're going to go ahead and put one of these on one side, and we're going to put one of these on the other side so that we can, like, load shells, I guess, through that one, and people can get in and out through that one. That makes sense. Uh, viewports, we're going to put the driver on the front end uh, on this side. That's okay. And we're going to make it slightly larger, like so. There you go. Uh, Commander's Cupola, I don't know where I want that to be, actually. Um, probably over here somewhere. So we're actually going to go ahead and attach that directly onto the top, just like this. 
And yeah, that's somewhat fits there. That's quite nice. Antenna? Um, I think we can attach one of these probably actually to the exhaust. I know that's a little bit strange, but it works. Um, and then we can go from there. That's actually not too bad. Not too shabby. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. So, what else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, lights? Yeah, I suppose lights would be something that is quite useful. Let's go and attach those guys to there. The rear lights are just going to be on here, just like so. Utilities? I guess we could have logs on the side. Uh, we're going we're gonna to actually do that. Logs on both sides. That's fine. Um, tools and equipment. We're going to whack those guys there. On the other side, we'll actually whack these guys on. And um, that's not looking too bad at all. Okay, okay. What else do we need? Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and make this slightly smaller, and we're going to whack that directly on the front end like this. That's okay. Uh, anything else that we need? One of these guys is going to go there. Um, and we're not doing too bad. I don't know how to get the driver in and out. Uh, I guess one of these does actually fit, so we're going to put that right, right there like so. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're not going to have a machine gunner, uh, which should be okay. That should be fine. Um, and yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Okay, we're gonna add uh, many of these. I usually do, so we're gonna do it again. So those are gonna go there. Uh, we're gonna have some mounted back here. We're gonna have some mounted just here as well. And we're gonna have to mount a lot of them to the main the main gun, uh, the gun emplacement bit. And uh, we will. So that's okay. We'll add those to there. We'll add these directly above those ones. Uh, hopefully in the nice place. There we go. And, um, yeah, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Yeah. Okay, we're also going to put some of these on the rear as well. We'll just go ahead and put those there. And that is fine. Yes. I'm really happy with this so far. Alright, next thing. We're going to go ahead and attach these guys to here. Stretch them so they're a little bit bigger. Uh, squidge them so they are very skinny. And then we're going to push them in. So that they look very pretty. Alright, just like that. There we go, what do we think of that? Let's go ahead and try and drive it around in a circle. And see what we've actually come up with here. Da -da 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 -da. Turn around if we can. We need a stronger engine. <laughs> we definitely need a stronger engine. Real quick, let's just go ahead and do this. There we go. So we've got an engine that works. Let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. And there we go, that's what the front end looks like. That's not too shabby. Yeah. Okay, so what is next? We're going to add a big old fuel tank on the rear. We're also going to go ahead and add a big old door on the rear as well, because then we can get in and out of the uh, the backside. That's fine. We're going to add our fuel tank stuff on the rear as well. Um, I know it doesn't make sense to put it underneath the exhaust, but we're going <laughs> to. So there you go. Uh, and that is mighty fine. That is mighty fine. Um, okay, so we could add stuff like this to here. I don't feel like it, though. Um, we could also add that stuff on here as well. Again, don't really feel like it. Uh, so we won't. We won't do it. However, these guys. What I want to do with these is turn them into some sort of flooring. I know that's a little bit odd, but that is what I want to do. So we're going to go ahead and stretch them out. What has happened there? That was weird. Uh, they're going to look like our floor. So bring it down. Why is that happening? Why are they doing that? What are they doing that for? Alright, hang on. Twist them back round. What in the world is going on with these guys? No, not like that. Undo that. What in the... I don't understand. Genuinely have no idea what's going on with... What is happening? Alright, we're going to leave them in the air then. <laughs> we're just going to leave them up. That's fine. Okay, so, uh, lastly then, there's not too much else to go on here. We're going to go ahead and attach those guys to the sides. Uh, we will actually attach some of them to here also, on the sides. And then we'll, um, we'll go ahead and attach a gun. We, we need a gun. So that's what we need to do next. Okay, so, we actually would really, really, really benefit from a custom, uh, mantlet right now. But we're going to go ahead and just attach one of these guys. Uh, and we're going to have to go with this, unfortunately. Um, we can maybe change it slightly. Uh, if we go ahead and just extend these guys a little bit, we might be able to do something, but um, I'm not so sure. So we extended that, and let's say we squidged it a little bit, and we squidged it a little bit like this, and then maybe we do this kind of thing. Uh, we can maybe have a mantlet out of that, but I don't know. So if we do, 
We would attach that directly onto there. Maybe push it backwards slightly. Uh, so it somewhat fits in there and... Yeah, okay, we... Mm, I wanted it to be perfectly round. I did. So we will. We'll continue with having it perfectly round. We'll just go ahead and attach that to the front. It's very ugly, but it's what we'll do. Um, stretch it so it's a little bit bigger. Yes. And then push it backwards. Till it fits. And we'll leave it there just like that. Okay, so... What size gun do we actually want? Caliber, let's go with 120 millimeters. There we go. Uh, propellant length, real big. Maximum, there we go. Actually, maybe not maximum. Seven, 800. 800, bam. And then we need to make this really long. Like, really long. Two and two. Okay, that one is two, but it needs to be more like 1.8. There we go, okay. Add another one. Make it smaller or bigger. Smaller. Smaller. Ah, we can't make it any smaller than that. 1.7. There we go. Make this one bigger. No, that's that's about right. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. That's pretty cool. Yes, so even though it looks a little bit strange, uh, we are going to keep it like that. That is fine. Uh, unfortunately, we do need to add a gunner's sight above it. Uh, so that's going to have to go on there like that. Uh, let's see if we can see. Yes, we can. Okay, yeah. No, this thing is a beast. This thing is an actual beast. I love it. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and add some ammunition to it. Yes, we're gonna have to add loads. That's fine, whack it in there. Uh, we got loads of room for it, so that's okay. But we'll have some APHE and some APHE. There we go. I'm just gonna go with APHE for everything. Um, okay, so, that's all. That is, that is it. What we need to do now is actually add a livery. Um... Don't know what kind of livery I would even like on this. I quite like that one. If I change the color of it to something else a little bit. Like, I don't know what, though. Uh, brightness all the way down. Like, that's kind of cool. But at the same time, it's just not. You know? Uh, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and change its color to some something else. That looks pretty nice. We're going to go with that. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually add some more decoration to this, try and make it look a little bit nicer, and then I'll come back with you guys and uh, show you what I've changed. Also, I will add some uh, logos to it as well, because I think that would be cool. Okie dokie, so there we go. I've added a bunch of detail to this thing, as you guys can see. Uh, I added some machine guns on the turret. I also added, um, like, the little hatch right there. I added a machine gun to the top. I added some little uh, baskets as well. Some random little details on the top as well. And um, I added some Soviet stars, because I feel like it is quite a Soviet-looking tank. Anyway, uh, what I want to do now is actually add a bunch of armor to this thing. I don't know how much armor I want to add to it, but probably a lot. Because um, it's a tank destroyer, its front needs to be extremely armored. Um, but I guess the rest of it doesn't necessarily have to be, so we probably won't make it all uh, super duper armored, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and grab all of these guys, grab those guys, uh, that one and that one and that one. And, yeah, we're going to go with maximum. Hey, nice. Okay, for the sides, we're going to go with way less. Um, and that should be fine. We're going to go with way less for these as well. Uh, and all of these guys. There we go. Uh, and that's going to be more like 90. There we go. That's fine. Um, there is more to it, I suppose. There's these pieces. So these are going to be... Actually, these guys are going to be quite armored. So let's go with, like, 115. That's good. Uh, the top isn't going to be very armored at all. We're going to leave that wide open. Uh, the top of this is going to be wide open. The rear is going to be armored. Do -do 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 -do. Only a little bit, though. We're not going to go crazy overboard with this. Uh, we're going to go with, like, 50. There we go. Uh, we're going to also armor this bit up as well. Just a little tiny touch. Because, again, we can. Um, and that's all going to be about 50 also. There we go. How much do we currently weigh? 38 tons. That's about right, actually. Alright, so once we're moving, we are A-OK, -okay. yes. Uh, I might have to change the transmission so we can turn on the spot, because again, we are a tank destroyer, and that is what we need to be able to do. So, mobility. Uh, transmission, uh, powertrain actually, yes. Uh, twin transmission, that's good. Transmission itself, we're going to leave as is, um, and that's alright, yes. Uh, overdrive limit, we're going to go with this, there we go. Um, okay, yeah, lovely. Okay, something else that I've just done, like literally just done, I've added another person, I've given them the least amount of room they can, and I've made them a radio operator, because we need one, so there you go. Uh, but that is literally everything now, so, 
Um, now that we've got it done, we can actually take it to war. Let's do it. Okay, so I did just think of something that we could maybe add to this to make it a little bit nicer, a little bit more effective, actually. Uh, if we go to crew, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Um, I don't know whether we need any of these, but yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just add one right there in the back. Um, the thing that we're missing, there is something that we don't necessarily need, to be fair. Uh, but if we go to tracks, we go to spares, we can actually add some spare tracks on the front. Um, and make it look really sick. So if we did this, that's actually really cool. Uh, and then we can flip them over. Uh, like this and actually have them right there just like that as a bit of armor I don't mind that whatsoever I actually think it's really cool so we'll keep it all right um, anyway I think we're ready to go so let's just go ahead and go there is seven of us versus the enemies I think we've got this oh actually sorry one more thing that we need to do there needs to be traverse on the gun itself so go to firepower um, it might be mount yes azimuth we don't have any. Gun mount. Yes. Torque. 1,000. I need to come up with some space somewhere, but that's fine. We can do that. Ratio the same. That's fine. So, where do we get the space from? Um, what's taking up the most space? Crew. Eh. Okay, right. The gunner can have a little bit less. There we go. Alright, we're ready. We've used up all of the space that we possibly need to inside. And um, we've built something actually kind of beautiful. I like it. Alright, so the enemy has spawned. Remember, we only have uh, 24 rounds per tank. Uh, there are 10 enemies right now, so if I... I guess I could do it all with one tank, I suppose, but we'll see. So here are some enemies. These are the lightly armored ones. These are the, also the ones that will get around the back of us. So it's something we have to watch out for. But let's go ahead and get ourselves in a nice prime firing position. Take a shot. We've tracked that one. Okay, so it's no longer a massive issue. This guy... Should die. Yep, that one died. Okay, excellent. And essentially, we just don't want to get tracked. That is our... I missed. <laughs> we don't want to get tracked and we also don't want enemies behind us. That is also something that we need to watch out for. So I'm driving backwards. Trying to um, put some distance between me and the enemy. Making sure that they can't go behind us. Going to continue reversing. Try and keep pointing my front towards the enemy as well. That is a good point. One of my guys has just died. And it's because the AI doesn't know how to drive my tank. But that's okay. Alright, kill you. I'm actually going to destroy this guy before helping my friendly tanks. And then we'll go from there. There we go. Right, now we can turn around and deal with these guys. Here we go. Turn ourselves round. Yeah! Okay, they're all just, like, sat on top of each other here. It's a little bit silly, but sure, whatever. we got five seconds so we can shoot this guy. And we're going to be able to do that very soon. Move down. Here we go. Oh, he's going to start shooting me, actually. You're dead. There we go. How many more? There's two more. This guy and... I think there's a guy behind him. Okay, here we go. That guy's dead. And now this guy... Howdy, partner! Skirt, skirt! Okay, skirt, skirt! Okay, and three, two, one! You're dead! Alright, cool, next! Let's go! Look at all the rounds that have actually hit me there on the sides. That isn't even in the maximum armor position, so that's, um, that's actually not bad. I guess there's a little bit of an angle there, so it helps out a little bit, but, um, yeah, we're good. We're actually doing great! Alright, attack, guys, attack. Hopefully my friendly tanks are actually able to. Oh, it turns out we are getting destroyed. That Tog 2 just destroyed this guy. Okay. All right, we got to take out the ones that we need to take out before we take out the ones that we don't need to take out. I don't know how I'm going to aim this. Oh, that actually was perfect. <laughs> All right, we're going to tank more hits while just sitting here. Hopefully that's okay. Try and shoot that guy. All right, that guy's dead. Okay. I'm getting quite good at judging how far these rounds go. I'm going to miss this one, though. Yeah, too high. Um, yeah, there's guys up on that hill. Those are the guys that I'm actually worried about right now. Too low. Okay, a little bit higher. Because the guys up on the hill can actually shoot me in the 10 mil... 10 mil of armor. 
Clearly that's not good. Alright, this guy. I don't know where my friendly tanks are and why they're not helping me, but there you go. I missed by inches. Literally inches. Two, one, fire! Oh, I've tracked him. Higher a little tiny bit. Three, two, one, fire! There we go, that guy's dead. And we're gonna try and deal with these guys up on the hill first. And then the guy on my right next. There's three of them. Alright, we got one. <laughs> hey, nice! Okay, then we're gonna go for the guy to the right. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the guy to the left. Three, two, one. I don't have many rounds left. Oh, now they've hit me hard somewhere. They've taken out my driver. So we're gonna try and kill the last guy up there. Who is hiding. I got him. Okay, nice. And then we're gonna have to abandon our tank. Look at how many hits this thing has taken. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. I just pressed space bar to bring it back. That is stupid. That is so dumb. But um, you know what guys? I, I think this tank actually won anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it here for now. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, tell me what you think about this tank. I actually really liked it. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.